So today we're going to talk about multiplying binomials. Well, a binomial is a two-term expression, and when we multiply binomials, we're going to use this method called foiling, where we multiply the first two terms of each binomial, so x times x, plus the outside terms, which of each binomial, x times negative 3, plus the inner terms, 5 times x, and the last two terms, so plus 5 times negative 3. And then we multiply each one in the parentheses, and then we'll combine our like terms. So x squared plus x times negative 3 negative 3x plus 5x minus 15. We can combine these middle terms x squared plus 2x minus 15. And your binomial, or excuse me, your trinomial answer that you get for multiplying two binomials are, is always going to come in this form where you have the two middle terms combined so you only have one term. So now we're just going to do some examples. So remember we FOIL. We multiply first outside inside last. So the first is 2x times 4x plus outside 2x times 3 plus the inside which is 5 times 4x plus the two last terms 3 times 5. So 2x times 4x gives me 8x squared plus 2 times 3 6x plus 5 times 4 20x plus 15. We're going to combine these like terms, we're going to get 8x squared plus 26x plus 15. We're going to do the same thing for this one. This time I'm not going to draw the arrows because I don't have room. But just talk through it when, while you multiply. First, which is x times 2x plus outside x and 3y plus inside times la plus the last. So x times 2x is 2x squared plus 3x times y is just 3xy plus 2y times 2x is just 4yx plus 2y times 3y, 6y squared. Now, remember I said you'll always be able to combine these terms. Well, if you look, this is xy is your variable and yx is your variable. Now, what's the one thing that we always need to remember about multiplication? Well, multiplication is commutative, so that means writing 3xy is the same as writing 3yx. So those still those are still like terms in the middle. So we get 2x squared plus 3 plus 4 is 7yx plus 6y squared. And I could have written this middle term as 7xy. It really doesn't matter. It's whatever you personally prefer. So that's all we're going to do with binomials today. But make sure you come back and check out our next lesson, which is going to be on multiplying polynomials together.